Hello, fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald Random Lock. On the last episode, we uh, finished off the Victory Road by heading deeper inside the Dark Cave because it was, we needed Flash to really see everything, but we didn't have it. Uh, we dealt with the last remaining member of the Winstraight family as we made him quit everything. <laughs> uh, we uh, we uh, continued our way down, and then we started making our way back up until we eventually reached the top floor where we didn't need Flash and exited out the top part of the cave over to the Pokemon League. We talked with the gate members who were blocking us from actually entering the Elite Four area. Uh, and since we have all the eight badges, they let us, well, they walk, they, they spread apart so that we can go between them when we ought to go challenge the Elite Four. But not yet, because this episode, we're starting the training. We're going to get all of our Pokemon to at least minimum 55. Goal is 60. So Randy Jr. is technically there, but I mean, since he's already in first place, we'll just keep him in. We'll just keep him in the spot until he gets level 60. So it's a Salvador situation. And then after that, we'll switch Robin up in front and just have Robin be up here until he gets level 60. But we're going to keep Terra with the experience share until they hit level 60, because why not? It's 14 levels away. They're close enough to the next level. Never mind. <laughs> I think, oh boy, I checked the numbers and I, did, I didn't write it down, but we need like 216,000. Or it's like, it's two. It's either 216 or 260,000 experience points to get to level 60 for Groudon. So that's a lot of fights. That's, that's, uh, <laughs> that's over, a, that's, a, that's about, that's about 100,000 experience. So that'll be a while. Terrain's gonna need a lot more because he's got 21 levels to catch up to. And then there's the story of Minnie, who is still in a in the PC. We probably should put her in the No, you know, we're not gonna we're not gonna put her in the in the daycare because we, we need her to be a fresh slate when we uh eventually decide to start EV training her just to make sure that she can survive hits. But I did go check uh the Pokemon logs to see where potential Chansey and Blissey were. And I like that I made a joke that's like, I hope there's none in like, I think I said, I hope there's none in the Cave of Origin. I hope there was none in the Safari Zone. I hope there's none in post game. I think I said all of those. I was correct. <laughs> I hate it. I didn't know that. So I checked, there's there's Blissey in the, in the Cave of Origin. So, so much for that. There's Blissies in the Safari Zone, so we could catch one, but we won't get any experience from it, which sucks. And then there's some, there's one place that's definitely post-game, but even then, it's still, like, not option. And then they then they one up to what I did was awful choices by throwing it in Route 130. And I was like, oh, that's not so bad. It's like one of the first Pokemon in Route 130. But then I looked into it a little bit more, and I was like, wait, it says on grass. And Route 130 is a water route. So what's grass on this route? And then it hit me. They put it on Mirage Island. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, so, yeah, we're never seeing that one. Uh, so, so much for Blissey. Uh, so much for Blissey showing up. Apparently, they're in Route 1 115 with fishing. But I don't know which rod. And it's not one of the first ones. So it's probably going to be just as annoying as Relicanth was. And then there's Chansey, who I couldn't, I I could only find from fishing. Oh yeah, I also joked that they were on Route 102. Uh, that's where Chansey is, <laughs> if I fish. So, and then Chansey's also in Route 106 for fishing. There's no like wild, wild Chansey or Blissey in grass, except for on Mirage Island. <laughs> but there are some trainers that we can rematch fight that eventually do get Blissies and Chanseys. So we're gonna be going that route. Because I mean, one, trainer fights are better. Two, if they're trainer Blissies and Chanseys, oh, they're gonna be so great. We, we just need to have, we just need to have Randy Jr. punch them. And they'll, pr they'll pretty much go down because they have like awful defense. So we're going to our first person down here I just need to make sure they actually want to fight me I think they do because I checked this last time uh, 
Never mind, they don't want to fight. <laughs> Oops. Tuber Lola eventually will become a trainer that has a Chansey, or has a Blissey, so... That sucks that they don't want to fight me. Uh, who else? Anyone else here that actually does get a Chansey or Blissey? Fisherman Ellie, it does. Well, he gets a Chansey, but it still works. We probably go over there. Battle Girl Cindy does later on. That's also a Chansey. Uh, there's two more. Where are they at? Her. She's in Mount Pyre. Ah, uh, but she doesn't want to be fight because that's sad. Trent does. Go fight Trent. At least get that started. Fight him now, and then we can rematch him later on. And he'll gain bet he'll gain different Pokemon because that seems to be how they're doing it. Excuse me. I've been keeping fit by hiking. Power, I have in spades. I really should just rematch every trainer, but I mean Knowing that he's eventually going to get a Chansey. Actually, he's going to get a Blissey, so that's even better. And, you know, they're level 24 right now, but they'll get better. Also, look how close Randy is of leveling up. I did say I wanted this to be short. Uh, the fact that Chansey or Blissey are so hard to find uh, will probably make that hurt. Although, I do want to still do some of it off-screen. If possible. And I say if possible, because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much I can get recorded. <laughs> it's a shame they're it's a shame they're like half our level, because there's no way that we're gonna get a lot of experience from this fight. Ooh, a Crawdont? Uh-oh, Dark type. I mean I still think Randy Jr. is gonna level up. Probably from this this one right here. He only needs like 500 experience. And he got it. Oh, and poor Skitty. All right. Well, that does this one. I think the I think the more dangerous people to rematch would be the ones that are in East Hoenn, like in the ocean or in Route 121. The trainers over here are gonna need a couple of rematches before they eventually start being actually dangerous. I, hmm, I should note down where all of these people are. Once again, I wish I could sort these by location. Ooh, Ruin Man Maniac Dusty. I think we actually did rematch him once. I know where he is. Are you? <laughs> oh, wait, did you want to rematch? I'm literally talking to every trainer now. Ooh, the, uh, the cameraman and the reporter should be back down here now. Uh-huh. They continuously go between here, Route 118, and then uh, Route 121. 120. Well, this guy's looked for ruins his whole life. <laughs> and we've already opened and caught the Pokemon inside. Poor guy. I feel like we're not going to do a lot of leveling up this episode. It'll be nice. We're, we're definitely helping the cause. Just making them tougher. And we and we, pro we probably won't lose any Pokemon, so I won't cry. I say that, even though we haven't lost a Pokemon since the first gym. <laughs> like, two or three months ago. Uh, my Repel War out. Wild Pokemon? Pfft. We don't want to fight wild Pokemon. They're too weak. No one in Victory Road wanted a rematch. I got no phone numbers except from Wally, who I already had his number. So that kind of sucks. We'll get to him later. I need Tuber Lola to become... Want to fight. Sisson Burr, Leland, Roy. Route 124. They're in the water. They're in a brook. Also here somewhere, Wilton, 
also here. All right. Well, there's a couple of people in the desert. Or are they above the desert? They're cool trainers. Let's go see. And then maybe we go head over to Fisherman Elliot on Route 106 to go talk with him. Cool trainer. Oh, that guy was walking normally. Ooh, he was warning us about the Elite Four. We should be nervous about the Elite Four. We don't even know who any of them are. Here we go. Here's a cool trainer. They're all around 30. We need them to be in the 40s if, they, if we really want some experience gain here. Oh, this thing's also part flying type. How, how bad is it going to hurt me with that? Hopefully not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Moltres, okay. It might be in the 20s. It'll still be a decent fight. Is this our first Moltres? We've definitely seen Articuno and Zapdos multiple times. In fact, we use Articuno a lot to level up in the early game. Sky Uppercut, don't miss. This is like the third episode in a row where it hasn't. It's going to eventually. I'm going to be upset when it does, but... Let's just enjoy the ride right now. I am decent. Thank you. <laughs> Where's the other cool trainer at? Uh, not you. You're a parasol lady. Is she a parasol lady? No, this is the cool trainer I was looking for. Parasol lady's further left. Explosion, scary. Maybe I should search some some uh some trainers out in the east. There is that there is that double trainer that we could fight. Ooh, Shuppet's bad. Well, Shuppet's not as bad as Haunter was. And we actually do have more sludges, so. Is poison not very effective against ghost? Hmm. Shepard's only part ghost. Ooh, explode. Oh, but it's normal type. Okay. I should see if there's any... I, I need to see what, like, the Pokemon below Blissey is in terms of, uh, easy experience. I think Chansey and Blissey are tied. So whatever's third place... I, I wonder if it's common... Oh well. We're getting trainers knocked out. We're getting these rematches finally done. Ooh, the beauty and the rich boy. I can get some money here. So it was the lady that gives me money, not beauties. A lot of triathletes on Route 110 and Route 117 that we could go deal with. The Pokemon breeders typically have a lot of Pokemon as well, so it wouldn't be that bad. Elliot's the person that we need to go fight. So we go fight him. He's in Route 106, and he's a fisherman, so he's definitely on land. But I think he's the—I think he's one of the fishermen above Dufer Town. Oop, there goes my rappel. <laughs> Is it this guy? Please tell me it's this guy. There he is. All right, he's got three. Oh boy. Well, for a fisherman, he caught an Aqua Boy. Good for him. Uh, 
I completely forgot what we called Entei and Raikou. We clearly called Suicune Aqua Boy because we caught one and named it that. <gasps> Our first Charmeleon. It only took 75 episodes to find one, finally. All right. <laughs> Just name it's gonna leave right now. Now, all we need Neff is a Charizard. He's got two fire Pokemon. Ooh, am I gonna be intimidated here? I sure am. Ooh, it survived. Oh, that lowers my attack even more. I mean, it's still gonna die. Yup. Rainy Jr.'s about to level up. That's not bad. I mean, I'm pretty sure that Terra is nowhere close to getting to the next level. At least, is probably further away since Randy has the lucky egg. Okay, or he could be like one fight away. Hmm. Maybe we do go deal with uh, an easy fight. I mean, not an easy fight. Not an easy fight. Ooh, I'm scared. We've already rematched these people once before, and they were in their 40s last time. So if we rematch them now, they're probably going to be in the mid-40s to low-50s. <laughs> Which might be too much, but... I'm willing to risk it. I'm not, but we're going to. <laughs> I'm not willing to risk it, but let's just see. Has this been closed up again? It's not closed up. I guess you can still go back in there. Hmm. I wonder if Magma Hideout's closed. I forgot to repel. Have we seen a gloom? I think we've seen a gloom. We would have pointed it out at least once, and I would have remembered that. <laughs> He'll catch heck. All right. I wonder how strong they are, and should we be worried? Terra's gonna get some decent experience here because he's definitely gonna be coming out in the fight. Ooh, they have a Registeel? Okay, 45 and 43. Drought's not bad. Uh, who? We need to Registeel that. Does Terra stay in the fight? I could crunch Baltoy. Oh, it just barely lived. I wish it would have died. Hopefully this kills it. Two special effective attacks. One is definitely dead. The ball toy hung on by a thread. Terra hits 47. Maybe that'll be the difference between living and dying. I hope. Well, I really don't hope. Oh, but it's doing a stat raise move. Oh, no. Psycho Boost actually hits me. I want to lower stats. Oh, but your special attack was your best trait. I feel like I can, I can just rock smash it, even though Terra's going first. I was worried because of Baltoy's uh, psychicness that they were going to hurt Randy, but it didn't hurt him that much. Uh oh, big, my big sister will chew me out again. These two just can't catch a break. That's our third time beating them. Are right, there beauties on Route 121? Let's go find out what she is. Where she is. Who she is. 127? Black Belt? Oh, he's on one of those islands out there. Triathlete? Route 128. I think they're close to where the 
the C4 cavern is at. Dragon Pass, Route 124. There's another swimmer around here. Uh, was it the swimmer above us? Maybe we should go check. Swimmer Pablo. Okay, hold on. Uh, he's one of these. Not on terrain. Swimmer up here was looking all around. Nope, not her. Oh boy, is it her? It was her. All right. I had a I had a general idea where all the all the trainers were on this route. Oh, poor thing. It's level thirty eight though. Ooh, can Randy Junior hit f hit fifty seven? Let's see. You know, despite the fact that we're uh, we're fighting completely random trainers, Randy's about to level up for the second time this episode, and Terra's leveled up once. Hey, he's leveled up once. No, he's leveled up twice. Has he? Yeah, he was. Was he forty six or was he forty five? <laughs> We fought a lot of trainers. If he's only leveled up twice, or once, that'd be a lot. He was close at the beginning, wasn't he? I, actually, you know what? I don't think he was. Maybe he's only leveled up once. I gotta look at my numbers. <laughs> Where am I going? Who am I fighting? Where do I want to fight? There's a beauty on Route 121 that I want to know. Is she located over here, or is she located on the other side of the Safari Zone? Oop. There goes my repel. I'm just talking with all the trainers now until I see one that wants to fight. That's a Pokemon breeder. There's a gentleman right there. A beauty on that side. Wait, do I have cut? I do have cut. Isn't there many trainers left? You're not a beauty. You're a... You're a Nurse Joy in the remakes. You're a beauty. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, God! We already have a Reggie Rock. Although, I should take my... I should take full advantage of this. I mean, it's not a, it's a wild red rock. It's not a lot of experience. Will it be enough to level up? Not yet. I'm gonna have to write, I'm gonna, after this, I'm gonna write down where every trainer is. Every trainer that we could possibly rematch. And then, uh, Periodically check and just put like a marker down there if they want to rematch and then check it off when we defeat them That way we can make we can do quick decisions to, instead of having to look back and forth We've seen Nidoran female. We haven't seen Nidoran male yet None of these moves are gonna help I'm gonna, I'm gonna get poisoned just watch. Randy level up. I completely forgot to mention that. Well, I didn't get poisoned, so thank God for that. <laughs> you wanted me to take it easy? I'm trying to grind here. Oh, we have so much money. <laughs> we're gonna be we're gonna be spending so much of it on uh on vitamins later on. any of our new friends want a rematch yet I wonder when I wonder when the rematches happen again we'll have to see normally it's when you like walk out of an area and then walk back in and it have, like it ha it respond very quickly in 
the remakes, but that, I think that was just for ease of use. I didn't pay attention to where any of them were. I think there's a lot on Cycling Road, so we're gonna head there. Just go down Cycling Road, talk with everyone, just see what they want, see if they want to fight. Yeah, I, you can see where I keep on planting my berries, just because they're so close to Mauville City. There's this patch over here. There's the patch underneath uh, the daycare center. If I wasn't so lazy, I'd go grow a bunch over at the at the Berry Master's house. Because there's what? There's like six plots of land there? All right, the first trainer didn't want to rematch. This one does. Only one. Ooh. Uh, but they were in like their early 20s at the first time. So they're going to be like this one in their late 20s now. <gasps> it finally missed. Oh, God. Wrong timing. Well, okay. It wasn't that bad. I could have just extreme speeded. I didn't need this guy to percut them. Like all these trainers are so so distraught that I beat them again. I beat them once before. That's what the again is for. Oh, my rankings are gonna be awful. I've bumped into so many trainers. God, Nino King's cry so nice. All right now, I'm gonna get poisoned. It's still a 10% chance, but I think it will I think it will activate. Never mind. I love how I love how uh, paranoid I am about being uh Oh, why'd I talk with this guy? Oh no! Alright, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna speed it up. <laughs> yeah, I wanna spend a half hour here talk with that guy more. That's all the tr Oop. Robert here. My Lilip has grown even more tough than that last time. I'm going to lose again to you. You wait till next time. Where's Robert from? Does a phone call mean that they've... Oh, <laughs> we did so awful this guy didn't even rank us. Okay. Maybe a fight stops the ranking. That would make sense. Any new blood? It's kind of hard to tell. Maybe? Oh god, there's a there's a there's a person on the abandoned ship. Collector Edwin's in Route 110. He's underneath the bridge though. Alright, well let's go fight him because he's right here. And we'll probably call it an episode. And then we'll spend uh we'll spend the time between this and next episode getting a list of everyone. That's a Poke fan. Oh, there's also all the trainers inside the trick house that we could still go fight. There's only like three per iteration. And we have like four iterations, so 12 trainers isn't all that much. This guy's still creepy. I feel like we should spend our next episode clearing out everyone in the east. I mean, they already have all tough Pokemon, but tougher Pokemon would help 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 it uh, help us grow quicker. Ooh, Vaporeon! Is this our first time seeing this one? I think we've only seen Flareon up until this point. Which means I think Jolteon's the last one. I think we've seen both Espeon and Umbreon.
We've added two Pokemon to the scene category, so I think that's it. Charmeleon and uh, Vaporeon. All right, well, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Unless there's uh, any more trainers I wanna fight. Doesn't look like it. We've done a lot, we've done, we've done, We've done a lot this episode, kind of. We've we've flown around quite a bit, battled a bunch of random trainers. Not a lot of wild Pokemon, but we're still trying to get our Pokemon uh, leveled up into the mid 55s, low 60s, <laughs> if possible. This is gonna be. It's gonna take some time. Oh boy, where's this one? Route 117. Oh, that's just that's just the. It's a double battle right over here. <laughs> I like that sideways hop. Wait, where are they at? Oh, they're up here. These two want to fight. They were close. Might as well. There's no point in not sending out, or not keeping Terra in. Especially when he's overleveled and there's an electric type Pokemon in the field. You punch that thing, and you... Mud shot that thing. Everything should work out for this fight. As long as Rainy connects. I shouldn't have said anything. Super effective move. That didn't that didn't really work, did it? Hmm. It's gonna be not very effective, isn't it? Oh, it's super effective. It's a part rock. It was part ground. It should have canceled that at least a little bit. Oh well. What do I know about Pokemon typing? <laughs> Who cares what I know? So, as we as we wheelie away like a pro, uh, that's gonna do it for this episode. On the next episode of Pokemon. Emerald Random Lock. We're going to be continuing our training because we got a lot we got a long way to go and it's going to take a lot longer than I was expecting but we'll have a list of all these trainers that are in the Pokenav and we'll have like a, we'll develop some sort of system for how to easily tell when someone's new, when someone's defeated and, and uh, where they're at so we can do some like quick defeats huh uh, <laughs> well, okay. Well, first things first, there's some more trainers back in Route 117 that we can go deal with. So we'll deal with them first. So until next time, hopefully you enjoy. <laughs>